Apple's Future Products. The first Apple event of 2022, Peak Performance, gave us some great products like the M1 Max and M1 Ultra chips, Mac Studio, Studio Display, iPad Air 5, and iPhone SE 3. All of this makes us more excited to see what new Apple products will come out in 2022. A significantly redesigned iPhone 14 and the long-awaited AirPods Pro 2 are at the top of everyone's wish list. When will these devices be available, and what cool new features will they have? We went through all the rumors to put together this video of all the Apple products that will be released in 2022. Let's just jump in! Hey guys, welcome to Techverse, where we tell you about Apple's future products. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell symbol so you don't miss out on any of our wonderful videos in the future. And let's get started! Apple will have a bigger iMac, iPhone 14, AirPods Pro 2, and more in 2022. People are making up stories about what Apple will do in 2022. No one can know what will happen until the official events happen. But we found the thoughts of well-known analysts and experts to give you an idea of what's possible. Check out all the new Apple products that will be released in 2022. 1. The iPhone 14 Series the next flagship phone from Apple is expected to have some of the biggest changes in years. Ming-Chi Kuo, a well-known Apple analyst, says that the iPhone 14 Pro series could have a design without a notch, Face ID sensors under the screen, and a punch hole camera. Also, the biggest rumor is that the iPhone mini could be replaced by a bigger iPhone 14 Max with a screen size of 6.7 inches. The most likely size for the base model of the iPhone 14 will be 6.1 inches, so that means there will still be four iPhone 14 devices. Also, there are rumors that the Touch ID will be built into the side button, but this probably won't happen until the iPhone 15 comes out in 2023. 2. M2 Chip with the M1 chip, Apple shocked the whole industry because it was so fast and used so little power. Since then, there have been Pro, Max, and Ultra versions of the M1 series, which is a huge improvement for creators. But at an event in March, Apple gave the impression that these chips were the last ones to join the M1 family. So the M2 chip should come out this year, and we still don't know what Apple has in stock after giving its M1 Max and Ultra chips almost every possible upgrade. Also, rumors say that M2 chips won't be as powerful as M1 Pro chips or higher. Mark Gurman has said in the past that the chip would have an 8-core CPU, a 10-core GPU, and four high-performance and efficiency cores. Also, the new MacBook Air, Mac Mini, MacBook Pro, and iPad Pro that will come out may be powered by M2, but no one knows when it'll come out. Like the M1 series, the M2 series will have four chips that will come out one at a time. 3. The AirPods Pro 2 In October 2019, AirPods Pro came out. So the new versions have been overdue for a long time now. So after AirPods 3, the Apple AirPods Pro 2 are the next pair of earbuds that everyone is looking forward to. Mark Gurman of Bloomberg and Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo have both said that the AirPods Pro 2 will come out in the fall of 2022. Most likely, these high-end earbuds will have a smaller size and a new wireless chip. This will probably get rid of the AirPod Pro short stem that sticks out at the bottom. Of course, they'll probably have a lot of cool new features, like lossless audio support, which is a big upgrade, find my sound integration to make it easy to find the device, and maybe even fitness tracking built in. This is sure to make it even more appealing. Most likely, they'll come out in the second half of the year. 4. iPad Pro 2022 Ming-Chi Kuo says that the iPad Pro 11-inch model will get an upgrade to a mini-LED screen like the one in the iPad Pro 12.9-inch model. Ross Young, on the other hand, doesn't agree with this fact. If this happens, it would be a huge step forward because it would give us more control over contrast and make colors that are both bright and full of life. Even though the shape probably won't change, the new iPad Pro models might have titanium bodies instead of the aluminum ones used now. Bloomberg says that this could be the first time that MagSafe could work with iPad Pro. The 2022 iPad Pro is expected to have reverse wireless charging, which means that a key-enabled iPhone or AirPods can be charged by placing them on the back of the tablet. That's cool! Also, the iPad Pro might get the M2 chip, which would make it much more powerful than the M1 iPad Pro. Another thing is a new Apple Pencil, but the rumor goes back to 2021, so we don't know if it will really happen this year. iPad 10th Generation after 11 years with the same design, this could be the year that Apple releases a new iPad. 
Quarterly reports from the DSCC say that Apple's making an iPad with sharp corners and a full screen. But Leaker, at Dylan KT, tweeted, which has since been deleted, that the iPad might have the same home button design as before. So, this is still up in the air. Since the iPad 9th generation had an A13 Bionic chip, the iPad 2022 will have an A14 Bionic chip along with Bluetooth 5.0, 5G, and Wi-Fi 6, but there won't be any big changes to the cameras. If the iPad 2022 follows the same pattern as its predecessors, it might come out on the second Tuesday of September this year. M-Display analyst Ross Young thinks that the Apple Watch 8 series will come in three sizes, 41mm, 45mm, and then a larger size. The Apple Watch 7 only came in two sizes. Also, the watch may have a new look with flat edges, which was rumored before the Apple Watch 7 came out, but hasn't happened yet. There are rumors that we'll see two more watches in 2022 along with the Apple Watch 8. One is likely to be the Apple Watch SE 2, which will be in the middle price range, and the other might be the Sports Edition. In keeping with the smartwatch's focus on health, the Series 8 could have a sensor that checks blood pressure, a sensor that checks blood sugar, a sensor that checks body temperature, and better tech for tracking sleep. The shape is likely to be the same as the most recent Apple Watch Series 7. When it comes to features, the watch could have a temperature sensor, a sleep apnea sensor, a car crash sensor, and improvements for atrial fibrillation, among other things. Mark Gurman's Power On newsletter says that activity tracking could be getting some big changes. A MacBook Air with M2 in 2022. Since there are strong rumors Apple's M2 chip will come out in 2022, the next generation of M2-powered MacBook Air may be coming soon. It might be slimmer, lighter, and have a new look. Yes, after 2010, this could be the year Apple gets rid of the taper design and gives the Air a uniform shape like the MacBook Pro. As an entry-level device, it could also come in crazy colors like blue, green, pink, silver, yellow, orange, and purple, just like Apple's 24-inch iMac. Also, the MacBook Air may take some features from the MacBook Pro, just like the mini LED, the 1080p camera, which is a big step up from the current 720p one, and the all-black keyboard. But the MacBook Air would have more than one USB-C Thunderbolt port, while the MacBook Pro would be the only one with HDMI and SD card slots. At Apple's October event, we can expect to see the brand new MacBook Air 2022. MacBook Pro M2 13-inch the 13-inch MacBook Pro 2022 would be a basic MacBook Pro powered by M2. Reports from 9 to 5 Macs say Apple might even drop the Pro name and just call it MacBook. I'm sorry to disappoint anyone who thought Apple might bring back the Touch Bar with the 2022 MacBook Pro. The edges of this new MacBook Pro would be the same width and the keyboard would be all black, so getting rid of the Touch Bar. Mark Gurman also said that the new model will not have ProMotion or Mini-LED and will have a smaller screen than the current high-end models. This means it would have the same type of Retina screen as the 13-inch MacBook Pro. We can expect it to come in silver and space gray, just like any other MacBook Pro. And that's it for today's video, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments for us, make sure you share them with us in the comment space below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. Hey, we'll catch up with you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day, and thanks for watching.